Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in this video I'm going to be telling you three things that you can do to help out during this pandemic, and if you're interested in that, stick around. If you like my videos on YouTube, then I think you would enjoy a private reading with me even more, and you can find the link to that in the description box below. Hey everybody, I hope that you're all doing well, I hope that you're all safe, and I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about three things that you can do to give back during this time. Uh, and so here's the first one. The first one is donate some food to a food pantry. Now, you can donate food that is for humans, you could donate food that is for animals. A lot of people are out of work right now, a lot of people are going through a lot of problems, and just check with your local town to see how your food pantry works, what items would work for you. But a lot of times people don't think about animals as well. And there's a lot of people who have pets who are in bad situations as well and may not have access to the food that their animals need. So if you want to be generous to animals as well, call up your local shelter and ask them if they have a food pantry or if you wanted to donate items where you could donate them to. If your local animal shelter doesn't know, then maybe a local vet office might know, but try to reach out and see what you can do to donate and help out because a lot of people are needing help right now. So that is idea number one. Idea number two is um, a lot of people right now are quarantined with their children and, you know, any parents can totally understand that being with your children is a joy and it's so great that you're able to spend more time with them and it's a such a blessing but at the same time they can get on your nerves and sometimes you just need like a little bit of me time and this is not a time where it's convenient to let other people watch your children or drop them off at daycare or have a grandma babysit you're kind of stuck so if you're somebody who has an extra little bit amount of time on your hands and you have a sister or an aunt or you know a mom or anybody that has you know children around and you know that they need a break i would encourage you guys to do some video chat babysitting that sounds crazy but let me explain so what i mean by that is do a video chat whether it's facetime or through facebook or however you want to do it and during that time you can entertain the kids you can do story time you could read books you could play guessing games like 20 questions you could do charades you could do all sorts of fun things and Try to do this, I mean, I know that different ages of kids have different, or you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Attention spans. So older kids, you can keep them maybe occupied for an hour. Younger kids, maybe only 20 minutes. But that will buy the parents precious time to take a shower, to have a cup of coffee, to deal with some other issues, maybe make phone calls or something. If you can donate your time to help parents to occupy their children, this is really a cool idea, if I don't just pat myself on the back, because of course kids can watch TV, kids can watch YouTube, but a lot of times kids will be a lot more engaged if it's somebody that they know that's taking the time out to do this with them. If it's their favorite cousin or their favorite uncle or their favorite aunt or their grandma or you know even just a close family friend, if you're taking the time out for them specifically and the games that you're playing and the things that you're doing are for them specifically, then that is you know completely much more valuable to them because it's personal one-on-one -on -one attention and they will eat it up they will eat it up and the parents will be super duper um appreciative and you can play tons of different games you can do 20 questions you can do let's go on a picnic you can do the rhyming games and you could do you know this charades like i said there's tons of different games even guess what number i'm thinking of i'm just gonna be honest with you guys People love that game. I used to play that with my psychic groups when I would do seminars and stuff, and people went crazy for the guess what number I'm thinking game. They loved it, so I'm sure kids will love it too. Riddles, jokes, knock-knock jokes, anything that you can do to occupy their time while their parents have a little bit of a break will be enjoyed by the kids. It'll break up the mon monotony and the boredom, but the parents will like seriously appreciate you so much. So. That is a way for you to donate just your time for free. These games are totally free, no money, just all you need is the internet. So that is thing number two. Thing number three, <laughs> uh, this is again about donating your time and energy. And what I would say is make sure that you reach out to people, reach out to relatives, reach out to people, even old friends. I have a friend specifically that I'm thinking of in my mind that I haven't talked to him in a while. I mean, we just kind of fell out of touch 
we used to talk all the time and then just life happens and we kind of disconnected and I'm going to be calling him later on today and seeing how he's doing, seeing how his family is doing and just checking in. So I would encourage you guys to do that. Now, a little caveat here, you know, I'm not telling you to reach out to anybody who's toxic. Don't reach out to anybody who was abusive or mean to you. Try not to reach out to any of your exes because that's not a good idea. I'm talking about like relatives, friends, people that were positive influences in your life. Just reach out to them, check on them, see how they're doing. And it's a good, it's a, it's a very loving, caring thing to do, but it also, again, breaks up the monotony, breaks up the boredom, gives you something new to focus on. You never know that you guys may be able to strike up a new friendship. So that is my three things that I think you can do to help improve somebody else's life and also make yourself feel better during this time of quarantine and this pandemic that we're going through with the coronavirus. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content that I've been putting up. If you guys have any ideas uh, for videos you'd like to see, please, 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 uh, you know, comment below. Also, I'm doing lots of fun things on my Instagram, so please check that out, as well as some videos in the cards that I have some new updates on my channel, so check that out too. That's pretty much it. I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe.